So this software control is typically the last module that you would implement. And you can see here that essentially we are trying to capture the time entries of the operators on the floor. So imagine on your production floor, whether it's a printing step or an assembly step, typically you would see there maybe a logbook where the shuffler personnel would have to input their time records. If it's not a logbook, then it could be a timesheet or a what we call a shuffler traveler, a piece of paper that they pass around where they write all of this information. What we want to do now is to capture that information, put them into Sage, so that we can see the status of each operation in the MO. How much has already been assembled? How much has already been packaged? Or So here you can see I have a time stop. What kind of transaction is it? Is it a runtime, a setup time, a cleanup time, or maybe even a downtime? Which job, which operator, which operation, what work center, and which station or machine is involved, as well as quantities. So this screen on the desktop is designed for a production clerk to input the logs or the time records, maybe at the end of the shift. So this is the screen that they would use. But of course, what we want or what we would recommend is we should use, again, the barcode module. This time, what we want to do is maybe put a tablet or a phone or whatever device that you want to use on the production floor itself let the operators log into barcode and then give them a touchscreen interface which they can then manipulate to record their times so imagine if i'm doing a printing job then maybe the first step i would do is go into setup uh, create a new record this is now capturing the current time so it's 4:41 in hong kong let's say just so that there's a variance i'm capturing 4:36 who am I? So this is operator one, which MO? So notice that there's a camera there. So ideally you actually are scanning this off the shop traveler, but if you don't, I could always search. So maybe which MO do we want to process? So let's just use uh, order 43, which operation is involved? The system knows it's only operation 200, which is packaging, which work center I could search and then which station. So maybe if I have more than one station, I can select. So all of this can be scanned using a barcode gun. And this is now starting the setup recording. So I'll just put in a comment here. So test setup. This is now saving it. And then eventually I would finish. So once I'm done with the operation, I could call this out. Notice how the system would capture the time. And this is now 443. Total time is seven minutes. I can then post. And this is now my time record. So that's shop floor recording using the barcode app. So everything here is the same. So if it's a runtime, then it's just a question of from what time, who, which job, which operation, work center station, and what time was it completed? and how many was produced. So it's scan, 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 post, just like a stopwatch. Obviously, this is showing our uh, out-of-the-box screens. Uh, we can always customize it. We can make it more simpler if they don't need work centers or stations, or if we want to have uh, some default values. All of that can be done using customization. But the basic concept here is you want to have a stopwatch environment capture the actual time records in the production floor. And uh, from here, we would then be able to see the status of the MO across operations. At the end of the period, we can then generate efficiency reports. So I know my standard setup time, my standard run times. With software control, I would then be able to derive my actual setup time my actual runtime, I would see if it's better or worse than standard, as well as generate utilization reports. So at the end of the month, I would now be able to report which machines were used for how much in a period of time. Is it 90% utilized or just 50% utilized? So that's essentially software control.